congratulations. Um, you're nearly completed with your second most big feature film. Yeah, it, it is completed actually. <laughs> it's just, uh, yeah, doing fun stuff like going to WonderCon now. So um, what have you learned since uh, between um, doing your first film and your second film? Everything, <laughs> because I mean, the, the, on, on Lights Out, I'd never even been on a film set before, so and, like I didn't know, you know, how movies were made here and how it works and what you can do and what you can't do and all that. Um, so for Lights, you know, for Lights Out, I was very stressed out and became pretty depressed as well when it got so overwhelming. But on this one, it felt okay. I know how it works here. This time. I'll be able to have fun and not just stress out the whole time. So this was a much more pleasant experience. So is it easier then? Absolutely, yes. Um, and um, and for, the, for, An for Annabelle here, is there tremendous pressure to make this movie even better since Annabelle has appeared in several movies before? Yeah, of course, to, to make it sort of bigger and better because um, this has a little bit more of a bigger scope than the first one you know it's about this orphanage with all these little girls who are now in danger um, and just have yeah evil sort of takes many shapes in this movie you know th but Annabelle is always at the center of it so what kind of surprises are we in for I know every time you film something that you're just gonna shock the audience yeah there's a lot of there's a lot of scary scenes in this movie. <laughs> like the, the second, like half of it is like just forty something minutes of just tension and and scares. Really. Is there a lot of gore? There is some gore actually, which got us an R rating. Um, not a lot, but it's pretty nasty. <laughs> now, um, how much kind of control um, do you have com compared to since uh, James Wan is um, a producer on on the set? Uh, it felt very free. I like, I mean, James Wan had certain elements and certain things that he wanted uh, to be in the film, but it felt like he, you know, let us do our own thing, you know, uh, which was very nice. What are some of the tips he actually gave you as a director? Well, I mean, <laughs> the first time I, I've met him, the, the big thing was to just have fun with it, which I couldn't do on lights out because i was just freaking out about everything the whole time it's like oh we're not gonna oh this is not gonna turn out good and you know we're not gonna make our days and, and everything so i couldn't take his advice on that but on this one i finally could and just all right i'm gonna have fun with it and i i believe you work with an amazing group of children on on the, as a cast for this uh, for this movie yes they're they're awesome we have talitha bateman who's uh, actually the sister of gabriel from from lights out although she did have to audition and go through the whole process, but super talented. And we have uh, Lulu Wilson, who was just in uh, Ouija, Ouija, Origin of Evil. Um, yeah, we just, we lucked out with the cast. Now, I overheard there is going to be a Lights Out too, definitely for sure? Yes. I mean, what, what more are we going to see about for the light, Lights Out too? I mean, she died, right? Kind of, maybe? Did she? <laughs> yeah, no, we, we, we want to do something quite different with it. That, that's a big thing. We don't want to make sort of the typical horror sequel where it's pretty much just the first film again. Um, so, yeah, we, we want to take it in a different direction. And what about horror that fascinates you so much? Everything about you so far is all horror. Yeah, I, don't, I mean, it's, it's always been a thing. I mean, I, I do like comedy as well and I, I try even in horror films to have little moments of humor in them um, but I don't know I mean as a filmmaker certainly it's awesome to watch it with an audience mm -hmm. horror in particular just because you see the reactions and you see how and if the movie works right away and you, you mentioned that your wife will make a cameo she always makes a cameo yes and um, yeah, no, I mean, we're a sort of creative partnership, so we want to... She, she will appear in more things, and we will do more things together as well. When are you going to make a cameo? Well, I, I did make a cameo in Lights Out. I was the, the doctor on the cassette tape that they hear. Um, but it feels like that's enough. Like, people don't need to see this. All right, all right. <laughs> and um, one last thing. Any more of your short films you're thinking about developing into a feature film? Definitely, yeah. Uh, so we're already talking about, um, we have one called Camp Closer, 
we have another Carl picture that we want to do. And then um, even for, for this one, for Annabelle, we have, um, I actually took elements from our short called Attic Panic and sort of redid them on a bigger scale in this and sort of like, okay, now I can finally do this thing the way I wanted to do it in the short, but I couldn't because of limited resources. You know which one scares me? What was it? The woman in the picture short That's film. That's pictured, it, yeah. Yeah, that one is scary. Yeah, that we, one we have a feature idea for, then we're writing the script. Terrific. And the other one that I also love is the one with the closet where you're... Closet yeah. space, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's a fun one. Yeah. Terrific. Well, anyways, hey, it's been a pleasure um, meeting you again. I actually met you several times, including a set visit. So, hey, Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey. yeah. Anyways, hey, <laughs> nice thanks. meeting you. Nice meeting you. Thank you. And be sure to keep your browsers tuned to lrmonline.com for the latest news, bochinche, and analysis.